Man, that's a handsome looking devil. That's right. That is yours truly, Jonathan, with the Hat and Hair Academy. It's my 40th birthday today. And uh, look at this. I still have the jacket from when I first started doing restaurant magic when I was 16 years old. So you do the math, 40 minus 16, that's like, uh, that's a lot of years to have one jacket. And look, it still fits pretty nice. All right, stick around. We got some exciting news here at the Hat and Hair Academy. Welcome back to the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan, and uh, like I said before, it is my 40th birthday today. I'm making a very special birthday video, birthday? Birthday video for you all. Uh, this is my first ever promo picture. That's me when I was the bright young age of 16 years old. Look at that. Look at those uh, Vernet multiplying billiard balls and how serious I was about it. I found some other old uh, publicity photos. Here's one of me with my illusion show. Ah, look at that, a big uh, big mismade lady. I got uh, uh, this one here, it's called Alibaba's Box. I kind of invented that trick, that's kind of neat. My coins, my billiard balls, I did some fire eating, linking rings, all that fun stuff in my stage show. And then this one, I completely forgotten about this photo. This is a photo of me right after winning the Ben Berger Escape Award at the Houdini Club of Wisconsin. This looks like it was 2006. So uh, yeah, a lot's changed. Mainly, the hair. We're only like seven weeks. This is like the eighth video that I've ever posted and I already got a request to do a show. I don't even know how they found me, but I got a request to do a show. So we're gonna put the brakes on uh, Jean Hugard's uh, Complete Course in Modern Magic because I've got to prep for a show, for actual paying people. This is exciting. So I went through um, just my, my mental bank of stuff that I had and uh, I decided I'd do some, some different stuff. Uh, not different stuff, stuff that I haven't done in a very long time. Uh, I'm gonna break out my Lincoln Rings. I'm gonna relearn Di Vernon's Symphony of the Rings. If you don't have this book, you should get this book. This doesn't look like a lot. It's very thin, it's very small, but it is probably the most important manuscript on magic. Uh, regarding the linking rings. It is fantastic. So I got to break out my linking rings. I also uh, brought out my book, The Magic of Alan Wakeling. There's two tricks in this book that I have done uh, a lot of. One of them would be the billiard ball routine. If you're looking to do a billiard ball routine, I highly recommend getting The Magic of a Alan Wakeling uh, by Jim Steinmeier. Uh, I got this in 1998. Uh, I got this in 1998. Uh, I believe it was 1998, um, at a magic convention, and it is the most important, one of the most important books that I've ever read, um, Billiard Ball Magic. If you're going to do a billiard ball routine, do the billiard ball routine out of the magic of Alan Wakeling. Also, there's a trick in here called Joker Poker. It's a fantastic opening to any magic show. It's really super simple, it's really super visual, and it's super mystifying too, and it takes hardly any uh, any prep at all. It is probably the most uh, amazing card trick that you can do for a large audience. So uh, I gotta break up my linking rings, I gotta break out my, uh, my, my multiplying billiard balls. So we've got uh, tabaret rope routine, we've got joker poker, uh, actor's napkins, ah uh, yes, out of uh, another one of uh, uh, Jim Steinmeier. If you don't have anything by Jim Steinmeier, if you don't have any of his books, you need to go get some of them. This is The Conjuring Anthology. Uh, this book is a collection of every magic trick that he published in the magic magazines uh, on a monthly basis. And it's, it's just an unbelievable um, resource of magic, easy magic. And I wouldn't say easy magic. I would say um, simple to construct magic, really straightforward magic. Um, and uh, uh, visual magic. So, uh, actor's napkins. It's a torn and restored napkin routine that is uh, not like any other. It's, it's, it's an amazing routine. And so, uh, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So, uh, yeah, I brought in my, my old briefcase from the garage, as you can see here. Inside of it, I've got um, a giant magic wand. This isn't just any magic wand. Let me get this set up here so that it doesn't tip over. 
This is actually, um, uh, you can see that right there. That is a giant needle. This is for the needle through balloon. Oh, it's still sharp, holy crap. Um, this is for the needle through balloon. Uh, I used to do this in a kid's show, uh, but it can be for adults too. I have no confidence in doing it for adults, but the one person that does have confidence in doing it for adults, probably the best needle through balloon routine ever is um, Arden James. If you haven't seen Arden James's routine on needle through balloon, it is knockout. We're not gonna be doing that. Uh, mouth coils. Yay. If you don't have mouth coils, fantastic. These are uh, a must. Um, here's my scissors for rope. Tabaret, oh, here's my rope for tabaret rope. Uh, so yeah, I'll be practicing that, a lot of that. Uh, here are uh, my billiard balls. My uh, House of Fakini billiard balls. Uh, you can't get these anymore. They don't make them. Um, so if you do get a chance to buy House of Fakini multiplying billiard balls, do yourself a favor, spend the money and buy them. I haven't done a ball roll in my fingers in years, as you can tell, I just dropped one. Um, but you can just see how, how beautiful they look. Look at that, they just, they pop in between the fingers. Look at that, and after years of not doing it, let's see if I can do this. Oh, 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 whoa, well, there we go. Uh, oh, almost, almost. Nope. Not. Nope, not quite. Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> that is uh, my House of Fakini Billiard Balls. Totally worth the investment. If you're gonna buy House of Fakini Billiard Balls, buy the Alan Wakeling set. And then of course, the piece de resistance. Uh, my set of bumper linking rings. I have, I believe these are 10 inch, um, 10 inch linking rings. Let's see here. Let's just find out. I have a, uh, that in there. Oh, here they are. Let's see, 10 inch. Yes, I have 10 inch linking rings, which was the size that Di Vernon preferred um, when he did his linking ring routine, the Symphony of the Rings. Uh, get yourself a good quality set of linking rings and they will last you a lifetime. I'm gonna be learning uh, a number of different tricks. Now this isn't a big show, this is only a 20 minute show, so uh, I think I've listed a, too many tricks to do in this, this show, but I'm really excited about it. So um, this week I'm going to be practicing. I'm gonna be practicing uh, reading the, the Magic of Alan Wakeling so I can refresh my memory on, uh, on the billiard ball routine, on joker poker. I'm gonna be rereading Diver and Symphony of the Rings so I can get that back into my head. I'm gonna be working on, uh, on structuring the show. Uh, very, very exciting. So I'm gonna be working on that. I'll be shooting video of me practicing so you'll get to see me screw up. It's really exciting. Until next week, thanks for joining us here at the, uh, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan. If you know someone that is interested in learning magic, send them a link to our videos here and they can learn magic along with us. Uh, or you can follow me on Instagram at Hat and Hair or on Twitter at Hair Academy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to these videos. They do help me out immensely. Um, so yeah, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, like, and subscribe to this video and uh, I'm gonna go let out all this excited energy on rehearsal. That's gonna be so exciting and I promise I will take videos of me screwing up and, and rehearsing so you can see them next week and uh, hopefully next week we can get back into learning some stuff. But until then, thanks for joining me here on the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan.